If I put your brain in a bird, it would fly backwards. Well, hey, what's that supposed to mean? My brain's already in a bird. Have you seen all the fan art? Keep up, random guy. How the last go from Chad to Linda in five seconds. Look, if anybody gets freaked out, they're gonna change pretty damn quick. Wouldn't you? It's a snowman. Look how angry it looks. Looks like dryer lint vomited up by a cat. I need to see what he's talking about, okay? I want to see this crappy food. Amaranth? Archangel, official music video. Lucius Malfoy killing it on the electric guitar. <laughs> That's not really the insult that you think it is, though. Man looks like distilled douche. Like the cleaner inside or the whole unit itself. Either way, that one stings a little. Worst game on the App Store. PvP was seemingly created by a meerkat society. See, why do we make comparisons like this? I'm sure meerkats would be great at developing a game. Hell, I think running with scissors employs a few meerkats. Jesus, you sound like a warm toilet seat at a gas station in the middle of Wyoming. Sound like one? Wait, what are you doing to toilet seats in the middle of Wyoming? This looks like something you'd get on Disney Minus. <laughs> Okay, all right, fine. So far, you're in the lead today, my friend. Please pick one. The people who like Miracle Whip are the same people who wipe back to front. Oh, oh dear. Um, Miracle Whip and mayonnaise are not the same thing, though, so I don't know what this image is supposed to be saying. It's not the same thing. Flash Season 7 has the cinematography, the dialogue, and the CGI and acting of a porn parody, but no one is naked. So it's the age-old insult of, this is like porn without the fun part? That's why you look like you drink white Gatorade and lick nickels. Wait, what's why? What are you- What's wrong with white Gatorade? Although licking nickels is probably gonna be one of the worst things you can do. I mean, not really, but it's not encouraged. You know wearing your hat backwards and to the side makes you look like you were deprived of oxygen at birth. Are you 60 years old? Wearing your hat backwards ma- Man! Shut up, boomer! Cowardly people who aren't up front with their intentions. Like, mother f That's why you're built like a ballpoint pen. Built like a ballpoint pen. I'm trying to imagine what a lot of these people look like, given these insults. Looks like what an AI would draw an Easter Island headstone head to look like as a person. Hey, whoa. We don't make fun of Linus in this house, alright? We here at MK respect the Linus tech tips. Vote Labor for more dole money for me and hopefully free public housing. Yikes, what pipeline sucked you in? What? Really bad r slash legal advice. Deleting emails to avoid subpoenas. This guy looks like a real-life Pixar character. You know what? He actually does. That is amazing. On a side note, that is one of the worst strategies I've ever heard. Deleting an email to avoid a subpoena? Wow. Do not do that. He's gonna grab three to five crucial orebs that turn into open shots and no one's gonna talk about it because he can't jump over a post-it note. I understood absolutely none of that. You aren't wrong. I've seen plenty of people with this talent and the entertaining ones talk to you, make good conversation or tell funny jokes as they do it. Why are you being downvoted? <laughs> because Reddit's full of losers who don't have any impact on life or in the real world, so they find meaning in upvotes and downvotes. Give them some modicum of power, what little they have. You know, you seem to be active on the same website, dude. Seeing our beautiful priestess with tears. Who dares treat her with anything but love and gentleness? I smite thee. For we do no, do no use her. We make love to her. Mother talking like the losing party in, in a what? There are a lot of things I just don't understand about the world, everyone. The crowd went wild. What did he win? Your mom. Sounds right. Was your mom the consolation prize? Eh. Dude's like a Disney Channel villain about to take away the puppy pound from the heroes. The whole pound? The entire thing? No, but you're right, though. Shaq on 2K halftime reports gives better analysis than real-life Shaq. <laughs> Shaq's a bit of a character, that's for sure. My guy, you look like a child's skeleton covered in mayonnaise with dryer lint on the top. You're in no position to be assessing anybody's beauty, you rickety junkie. <laughs> All right, I like that last bit, rickety junkie, good lord. No one ever uses the word rickety anymore. I'm sure if forensics come to your home, they'll be blinded after they UV your room. <laughs> Bring your sunglasses, boys. That's your insult? Hey man, you must masturbate a lot in your room. <laughs> 
Hey, this America place doesn't seem that bad, actually. Virginia, three MILFs, four minutes. Only four minutes? Wow, it's perfect for you! Emily burned his ass so bad he went running for his bidet. Someone's fancy they have an actual dedicated bidet? If you never know the difference, is it really a lie? Your mom never told you where you came from, did she? Balls. Yep. Your father's testicles. Does anyone else find Salt Bay creepy and weird as f? He's Dubai in human form. I've never found him creepy or weird as hell personally, but his food actually looks like garbage. And I know it's just the most asininely expensive thing in the world. Oh no, man's got more oil than Saudi. Oh, dude. No, people that do this need some serious help. No jokes, man. No jokes. History's most savage insults. His head was an hourglass. It could stow an idea, but it had to do it a grain at a time. I never forget a face, but in your case, I'll make an exception. He has no enemies, but is intensely disliked by his friends. What? His mother should have thrown him away and kept the stork. Good lord. What the hell was Oscar Wilde's problem? A 150 meter aluminum sea serpent skeleton sculpture. Sculpture? No, it's a real skeleton. <sighs> the beach and ocean weren't good enough already? Seems like the kind of place you go to enjoy untouched nature, but they had to go and make their mark. You probably live landlocked as f in the middle of Idaho or some sh beachless ass fool. <laughs> yeah, get out of here with your beachless ass. If I was gay, that man's ass would make me heterosexual immediately. Whose ass? You're not looking at a picture of me, are you? You share a brain cell between every orange cat. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, Blank, you got the personality of a sheet of sandpaper being rubbed against a cold crotch. <laughs> okay, I like that one too. Some of them are fun. This is without exaggeration the worst album I've listened to in like 10 years. Every single line made my skin crawl. It made me feel like someone was brushing their dick along the side of my leg in a grocery store aisle. I can tell you right now, I bought this album day one, and I actually like it a lot. So I am not 100% sure what the f is wrong with this person. If that's what you took out of this, I'm sorry. You just have the depth of a shot glass. Ooh. Both sides are the same. Give it a rest, Sergeant Sucktoes. <laughs> Oh man, they're starting to pick up a little bit. Men are not supposed to like other men. I like how your religion thinks that going into a man's butthole holds cosmic significance. <laughs> you look like a sleeve of butter. Oh. Help me settle a debate. Would you have sex with your clone? I'd rather die. I'll be honest, normally people say some variation of yeah, how about you? So I say, have sex with your clone? Absolutely. And usually that gets the ball rolling and now I'm lost. You look like you were dropped as a kid, and then they played football with you. Hey, you matched with me. Maybe you should have a little more self-esteem than that. I, I know that the stupid pickup lines have got to be annoying at this point, but I still don't understand the balls on people. They match with you, and then all they do is treat you like sh**. What do you think of Memoria? If the movie was any slower, it would be going backwards. Oh no, not for me then. I'm not pressed. Besides, your name is Jessica. It can't get any worse for you. So, from what I'm hearing, you're 12? Good to know. Whatever the hell that means. Oh, is that their name? Whatever. Sorry. I don't really care about the opinions of middle schoolers. Go do your homework, sweetie. I'm 12 and you're a struggling mom in her 40s named Jessica. Don't you have a soccer game to watch? First, you seem like the person who would voluntarily step in water with socks just to feel something? Wow. This guy isn't just a red flag, he's an entire emergency alert system directly sounding on your ears. Those aren't that big. Reminds me of the time I saw a dude truck one of the family size, <clears throat> I think two liter tubs, under one arm, pop the lid off and stroll around Walmart scooping mayo into his mouth by the handful. The shiver that sent down my spine bounced and came back just so it could go down again. <laughs> LMAO. Imagine, bozo, your jump shot looks like a demented cricket with f***ing cancer. What? Whoever wrote a review with only one hour of playtime, I'm going to come to your house and open all of your Oreos and let them go stale. <laughs> Do they all stand that way? They physically can't stand any other way. It's just how f their bodies are, or your bodies are, excuse me. 
It looks like a coffee table solely made out of misery. You orange-colored pack of stencils, I'll break your toes with a crowbar! See, this is what I mean. You guys got kind of annoyed with me doing the rare doesn't mean good for a little while, but this is stupid. How are you supposed to take someone seriously if their insult towards you is, You're a pack of stencils. I mean, followed up by a very valid threat, right? But really? Come on! The internet has finally found a way to create expressions on Kristen Stewart's face. <laughs> Tell me you only watched Twilight without telling me you've only watched Twilight. Bank drive through is a thing? What? Visit America sometime. We live in our driver's seats. I've even seen drive through strippers. It's not even rare. They sell coffee. I'd rather be impaled by a massive kebab stick than live or visit America, to be honest. Well, you know what? It's funny. The strippers he's talking about are actually from my hometown in Spokane. It's true. I think they're still open. There was a huge controversy about them. Just a drive through coffee shop with people wearing bikinis. Who gives a crap? You look like you've been stung by a bee on your entire face. I don't know where you're getting that idea, but sure! Imagine judging people when you yourself look like an undercooked chicken breast with sunglasses. Oh, see, ones like this, I have to see the photo! They look like they run around supermarkets and unpeel bananas. I mean, they're dressed for the occasion. You look like a middle school English teacher who was forced to teach math for a year because of being understaffed. All right. One, how is it possible you are arrogant enough to post your own insult and call it rare, Two, it's not even a good salt, nor is it an accurate one. That's very obviously teeth. One could point that out easily. Maybe you need a better prescription if you think that was a smart insult. And three, the amount of incel and basement dweller vibes pouring off of you is enough to create a 2011 Japanese tsunami of narcissism. He should buy a mirror. Guy looks like he's been floating in a lake for three days. Ooh, we got a floater. Excuse me, yes I can. Her vocals are atrocious. Have you heard yourself? Sounds like a live bullfrog going through a meat grinder. How have you heard them? I'm, I'm missing crucial information. Tito looks like a buff Buzz Lightyear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you trying to say that Buzz Lightyear isn't buff? Have you seen that suit, man? I get that from listening to Kid Rock. Thanks. I also get my trucker look from him, too. Kinda. You don't look like a trucker. You look like you sell meth to kindergartners. So, like Kid Rock? That half-squeezed tube of toothpaste thought he had a chin, huh? <laughs> Okay, but who cares? It looks cool, so piss off. You'd probably buy a piece of turd from a local vendor who claims it's spoiled guacamole from the 1400s, so I'm not surprised with this comment. Ooh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'd rather buy Winrar. So glad they made the game playable in the end. Dog looks like a weird drawing. For some strange reason, that one hurts the most. Not just because it's directed at this poor innocent boy, but why does it have to be this accurate? It's mean, right? You look like a weird drawing, just it's different.